Well, here's another psalm from David, a psalm of praise in Psalms 145, as he is praising God for his goodness and his opportunities and how, how he has blessed David. So lots of, lots of little nuggets out of this one that we're going to go through. So uh, if you think about this as we read it, what do you think about these? Would you agree with some of these things that David is talking about in here? Are they things you are blessed of in your life as well? I look forward to reading your comments about that. But let's jump in and start going through all these little nuggets that David gives us. He says in verse 1, I will extol thee, my God, O King, and I will bless thy name forever and ever. Every day will I bless thee, and I will praise thy name forever and ever. Great is the Lord, and greatly to be praised, and his greatness is unsearchable. One generation shall praise thy works to another, and shall declare thy mighty acts. I will speak of the glorious honor of thy majesty, and of thy wondrous works. And men shall speak of the might of thy terrible acts, and I will declare thy greatness. They shall abundantly utter the memory of thy great goodness, and shall sing of thy righteousness. So some really great things that, were, that he's talking about in here, that how he's, he's proclaiming God, he's excited about the blessings that God has given him, and how amazing God is at what he can do and his opportunities. So let's get into verse 8. He says here, The Lord is gracious and full of compassion, slow to anger, and of great mercy. The Lord is good to all, and his tender mercies are over all his works. All thy works shall praise thee, O Lord, and thy saints shall bless thee. They shall speak of the glory of thy kingdom and talk of thy power. To make known to the sons of men his mighty acts and the glorious majesty of his kingdom. Thy kingdom is an everlasting kingdom. Thy dominion endureth throughout all generations. The Lord upholdeth all that fall and raiseth up all those that be bowed down. The eyes of all wait upon thee. Thou givest them their meat in due season. Thou openest thine hand and satisfiest the desire of every living thing. The Lord is righteous in all his ways and holy in all his works. So this is really interesting. As we look at this, there's several transitions that David is making in here. And this is probably because of the poetry component of Psalms. That, of course, at the beginning, he's talking to God. I will bless you. I'll take care of you. And then he starts talking about this expanse of how glorious it is and this multi-generational goodness and opportunities and things and kind of speaking in generalities about, about God and his goodness. And then after, after taking this high level, 30,000 level view of how great and amazing God is, then he jumps down to the qualities of God himself and, and comes right down to understanding him. Like in verse eight, the Lord is gracious. He's slow to anger. He has lots of mercy. He's good to all. He takes care of his saints. He takes care of those who, who are having problems. And so it really brings it down to, a, to an individual basis at that point uh, that, uh, that he gets into. And now he goes into uh, kind of bringing this back out again as well. Uh, let's see, verse 17, The Lord is righteous in all his ways and holy in all his works. Uh, let's see, yeah, verse 18, The Lord is nigh unto all them that call upon him, to all that call upon him in truth. He will fulfill the desire of them that fear him, and he will hear their cry and will save them. So now, again, he's kind of pulled it back out from the person uh, dealing with one-on-one -on -one with God and is now bringing it about the people who worship God. So that's kind of this third section in Psalms 40, 145. Verse 20, The Lord preserveth all them that love him, but all the wicked will he destroy. My mouth shall speak the praise of the Lord. Let all flesh bless his holy name forever and ever. So we can kind of see there's this three-tiered sections that he goes through in this psalm as he kind of describes God in different ways. So he starts talking about talking to God about him, how amazing he is. Then he does this high level, God is amazing and infinite and powerful, but God takes care of the one as well. He helps us out here. And then he goes to, how can we, how, you know, praise the people who worship God. He's going to help those people too, kind of a thing. So some really interesting ideas we see through this poetry. So let's jump over to our next psalm as we continue forward.